Moving right along, we're going to send it up to the King of Canada, Mr. Steve Stewart. We're full mask, vaccine passports. I can't even go to a grocery store without being double vax, triple vax soon. Masking, double mask on the weekends. But I, I'm going to pull it down. I brought a longer, shorter guy. I want to make myself look good. That's why he, I'm on a share. But we're going to start with one that we came up with in Canada. And we do this a lot in the bars when we're all upset because of the vaccines. So we're doing retreating chair. So retreating chair, it comes. I hit that. I buckle his leg. I pull him back. I put the chair on for and I jump on it. Can't use his legs, can't use his arms, and I'm still the king of Canada. So that's retreating chair. With retreating pendulum, a couple of things we do on this one here. Uh, if he's uh, a point here between the hollow of the knee and the lateral mealialis, the ankle, <clears throat> one third down from here <clears throat> this one here like angel was saying will buckle you can use closed i like to use open because it hurts more so it cramps the leg that way i can make my getaway because he won't be able to catch me it's like six six so hitting that point there from here as he's coming as he's coming i like to go to that leg right away and i use that diagonal kick like they were mentioning earlier i think it was mark <clears throat> Lawler, and I like to kick on that diagonal inside the hollow of the uh, uh, back of the popliteal fossa. He stands up for a second <clears throat> on that one there. If I push on that, you'll see that kind of power just using my knuckle to demonstrate, but you'll be shooting that kick in there. You can do a side kick too, but <clears throat> I thought it was a lot quicker before he even lands this leg <clears throat> from here. But what I do is as I'm coming here, this arm is not coming down. As I'm doing that kick, this arm is coming, is coming down the inside horizontal forearm. That way, I do get a little extra testy situation on this position. If I use that back knuckle here, if I try to move his head, it can't move. If I tap this between the 11th and 12th rib, two-way action, that way there, it makes this one so much easier. So when I'm coming here, which opens up on this insertion point here, which is a blood pressure regulator. And if I strike that one there, it's called insertion point nine and 10, just tapping that one there, you see it makes him a little dizzy. So if I hit that one there, he drop, I would probably use a looping roundhouse kick. A lot of people do the roundhouse kick into the body. <clears throat> Somebody this size, I wanna get him down the ground. You can do the same thing for a front kick, does the same thing, oh, boom, right away I wanna hit that, boom. Come under, hit, and then drop that. Coming back up again, a couple of things to remember. If I'm backed against a wall, and this position here, I just move out of the way, right? If I move before he lands that leg, come back again. Before he lands that leg, I'm already here. So I'm having this one come up so that as he's going down, this one's going to cause more force down, up, then I can shoot in the elbow, grab here, back knuckle, which opens that up, and you can do the rest. So a couple of things to remember there about uh, the anatomy and striking. Put your elbow down. Right at the free end of the 11th, 12th rip is the one that's going to release this area here. It makes it so much easier to manipulate. When I strike this one at the base of the popliteal fossa, it causes his hips to release. So here, see how the hips release? It's so much easier to maneuver. So again, the open hand or the closed strike, just remember it's like one third down, two thirds up. And you wanna use two way action, bringing it back towards you, as you can see, to get the best results. So this is Andrew, by the way. So anyway, that's my take on whatever that technique was. Back to you, Dan. Well, whatever that technique was, it was pretty terrific. Thank you, Mr. Stewart, and thank you, 
Andrew. I almost said Angelo. <laughs> I say that name a lot. You can imagine. <laughs> thank you, Steve, and thank you, Andrew. All right, moving right along. All right, we're going to move right along. We're going to send it down to Steve Stewart. Uh, Dan, you took 75 seconds. <laughs> I, I I got the Canadian clock here. I think in U.S. time, that's a minute and a half. <laughs> anyway, I have an extra thirty seconds. Thank you, Steve Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Um, I just want to say to, to Gail, Gail, I'm sorry I missed your session last month. I had a I had a death in the family, but. Um, I'll look forward to watching that. I haven't watched it yet, so I've got to make sure I see that. And uh, it's good to see everybody today. <clears throat> it's kind of like getting a little bit more strict up here in Canada. Still, the borders are still closed. I mean, you can fly, but you got to go through so much with PCR tests and you got to give up your firstborn. So if you come back positive, then you got to you know, give up your second. So <laughs> right now I'm still stuck in Canada. The king of Canada is stuck in Canada. At the moment, but, um, hopefully soon, uh, I'll be able to get to see everybody in person. Uh, great presentation by all of you today. And uh, I just want to that uh, AJ and Angelo, is that what's left of California behind you? I wasn't sure. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, it's, we, we, brother, it's a great day, commodity. Everybody uh, gives their own opinion. There's no egos. Um, so again, from Canada, send our love. Take care. See you soon. Thank you very much, Mr. Stewart. We're going to throw it back up to 